This is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Toe Line. The figure came out great. I love the colors on this guy. I love these sort of glossy, metallic, pearlesque, pastel colors on him. It's already an, an amazing mold to begin with. And for them to do this mold in these robots in this guy's colors, I am absolutely amazed. I, I actually think this is a better version of the mold. Let's take a closer look at the details of this new Toe Line figure. Now, in case you didn't already know, Toe Line is a direct, well, sort of a redeco, recolor of Junkion Scrap Hook. What they did was obviously they changed the color of the plastic, some of the paint apps, and we've been given this new head sculpt. This toe line is inspired by the robots in this guy's toe line, and I think they even got the colors right. I love this sort of teal, uh, light green. It feels like it's jello, uh, aqua, like toothpaste colored green uh, that the, the old figure also had. I love the green plastic that they used for this one. And I'm glad it's not the flat, glossy green plastic. If you look closely, the plastic has a little bit of a glossy shine to it. We'll see more of that in his alt mode, but look at that. It's got the pearlesque shine to it and it's not a flat gloss like uh, like like some of the older uh, plastic that have been used with the previous Transformers. I love this. It's a deep, deep shine. And I think they nailed it. They got the colors right. If you remember, uh, there was this character in Robots in disguise. I didn't really, I wasn't a big fan of this show, but I, I did see a couple of episodes. I think it was, I think back in the early 2000s. And yeah, he was a kooky character. And I don't know if we can consider him as a Junkion. I, I don't think so. I think he should be treated in a separate universe, the R.I.D. universe. As far as mold degradation goes, I don't think there's any. This is the second version of the mold. Joints st still seem tight as far as I've, I've, well, based on the joints I've checked. The pegs are still tight. You can still do that modular gimmick. One thing they haven't fixed, though, is this hinge right here on the elbow. Uh, same with... It's scrap hook. It's really a loose friction joint. Uh, I, I don't know if they can actually fix that. I think it's a, it's a function, it's a factor of the engineering of that joint. It's really going to be loose. But all the peg joints are super tight. I'm glad they that there's no mold degradation. I love this new head sculpt. It's really quite an homage. Very, very accurate to the robots in this guy's toe line. And you see a lot of silver highlights. So he still has the same weapons, the hook, uh, the guns, the smokes, uh, the smokestacks or the uh, exhaust ports. Yeah, everything's the same with this figure except that head sculpt and obviously the color. Transformation, go ahead and pop off the weapons or the accessories. Open the shoulders, open this, these panels right here, fold the head backwards. Then these, they're gonna stay right here. Rotate the waist piece. Go ahead and fold up the feet. Connect the guns on the legs. And go ahead and join the legs together. Fold down the cockpit or the cab. Go ahead and tab the doors onto the legs. Okay. And then these pieces right here, I'm gonna fold like this, like this. Go ahead and join the rear part or the rear fenders and combine it like that. Rotate, rotate. And then these are the tricky bit. You want to combine the forearms together and then combine here. Okay. And then finally, just attach, reattach the accessories. And there we go. 
there we have tow line in his uh, tow truck alt mode. It's very similar to his garbage truck alt mode uh, with the old toy. The old garbage truck still had that uh, towing hook. Yeah, it's, it's pretty similar. Um, the Probably the only thing missing with this new uh, version of the figure is a lot more of that orange paint apps, like the towing service logo. Uh, there's really nowhere to put it. Maybe they could put a small uh, tempo right here on the front fender or here, but there, there was really no place to put it. So the orange paint went into the crash windows and all that, the blast windows. Uh, but overall, I think I'm I'm pretty happy with the way this thing turned out. Uh, it still rolls very nicely. I love how the colors have been distributed. It's mostly that it, it, it's like vomit green uh, bordering on metallic avocado. I don't know how, exactly how to explain it. But yeah, I guess metallic avocado is probably the best way to describe it with a little bit of this uh, uh, baby, baby green, light seaweed baby green teal color yeah it, it just looks great and for comparisons here is the first or the original mode scrap hook yeah i i honestly think this is the better version of the mold it, it's it's fun it's it's kooky it's it's kind of cute yeah and avocado metallic avocado versus toffee butterscotch squash uh colors Oh yeah, definitely. Very, very cool. I love this new recolor. And so some final thoughts on this Legacy Evolution toe line. I absolutely enjoyed this figure. I think it's a great recolor. I think it's a great redeco. I mean, the scrap hook mold was already an amazing figure. And I honestly think that this version of the mold is the better version of the mold. This figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class toe line. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.